I said that. But I personally seen the video. Huh. Thank you. Devin Haney is knocked out almost cold by Tank Davis. I seen it with my own eyes. Adrian Broner did hop in the ring. Ryan Garcia recently revealed a significant aspect of the boxing world, claiming that Devin Haney suffered a knockout during a notable sparring session with Trevonta Davis in the infamous doghouse. This disclosure is supported by Adrian Broner's account, adding weight to Garcia's assertion about the intensity of the Tank versus Devin sparring session. Tank hit that nigga. He hit him, boom! Then he hit him again and he uh, like went out. I jumped in the ring. Bronner also voiced his wish to witness a professional clash between Devin and Tank, highlighting that such a bout would conclusively determine the superior, more powerful, and explosive fighter of the two. See him get in there and fight Devin. You know, I, I've already seen them spar. I seen the spar and you know, that was a hell of a, so it was a you just had to be there to see it. Dervonta Tank Davis also asserted that he dominated Devin during their sparring session from years ago, thus resolving this lingering mystery. Tank has provided evidence supporting his claim of knocking out Devin. Footage of the doghouse sparring between him and Devin Haney. Well, Devin Haney came out. Explore the drama surrounding the Tank versus Haney sparring session and Ryan Garcia's commentary on the doghouse incident in this video. Delve into the historical rivalry between Gervonta Tank Davis and Devin the Dream Haney, dating back to their shared amateur days under Floyd Mayweather's guidance. The focal point remains the mysterious doghouse sparring incident, where reports suggest Tank asserted dominance over Devin, leading Mayweather to intervene. Conflicting narratives surround this session, with some insiders claiming Haney, despite being younger and less experienced, displayed superior technical skills and a high boxing IQ. Others argue that Tank's power and aggression overwhelmed Haney, placing him in challenging situations. What is unequivocal is the lasting impact of their encounter, acknowledged by Mayweather for its competitiveness. The secrecy shrouding the doghouse sparring, compounded by the absence of publicly available footage, has turned it into a legendary tale. Eyewitness accounts are the sole means to unravel the mystery. The video promises to shed light on Ryan Garcia's perspective and address the burning question. If Tank and Devin were to face off today, who would emerge victorious? The boxing community continues to speculate on the true victor of the legendary sparring session between Davis and Haney. This speculation has fueled a demand for a professional match between the two, offering a chance to witness the dynamics of their notable sparring under the scrutiny of a sanctioned fight. The doghouse sparring holds more significance than a mere footnote in Davis and Devin Haney's careers. It stands as a testament to their early potential and subsequent trajectories. Both fighters have climbed the ranks, securing titles and defeating formidable opponents. The desire to see them officially face off has grown, amplified by the absence of video evidence. Despite conflicting claims of victory, Haney once stated in an interview that he knocked out Tank, supported by alleged video evidence not released by Mayweather's gym. Haney has even offered prize money to anyone sharing the elusive footage with the public. Every time we ask him where the footage at, anytime I always in his phone, but you know, he, he tank man, so that's why he, he hiding the footage or whatever. Case mm. be. But I got 20,000 for everybody, that, anybody that come up with the footage. You come up with the footage, it's, it's, you got 20 it's, bands it's, for it's you. One tank also asserted his victory over Devin in their sparring session through a now deleted tweet on X. The champion expressed, Mother asterisk asterisk can't even stop someone with eight Oz gloves on. You think he can stop someone with 14 or 16? Footage of the doghouse sparring between him and Devin Haney. Well, Devin Haney came out. Confirming the truth is a challenge. Adrian Broner, however, verified that Tank indeed dominated Devin. Broner distinctly remembers the incident, mentioning it occurred just after he had weighed in for his fight against Sean Porter at Floyd Mayweather's gym. The gym, filled and heated, held high expectations for the impending sparring between Davis and Haney. Broner describes Davis arriving directly from the plane, appearing unprepared and indifferent about the upcoming session. Tank hit that nigga. He hit him, boom! Then he hit him again and he uh, like went out. I jumped in the ring. Because at the time, Devin is... The sparring session kicked off and according to Broner, Davis landed a powerful shot on Haney followed by another that visibly affected him. Concerned for Haney, who was just 17 at the time, Bronner entered the ring to prevent potential harm and repercussions. 
This intervention led to a tense moment and a confrontation between the two camps. After the brief pause, the sparring resumed. Bronner acknowledged that as it progressed, Davis showed signs of fatigue, allowing Hanny to gain control. Bronner attributed this shift to Davis's lack of preparation and hinted at a less than professional laid-up, suggesting Davis might have been engaged in Vegas's nightlife. Despite this, Bronner emphasized that the initial moments where Davis had the upper hand foreshadowed what could happen in a real fight under professional conditions, indicating Davis would maintain the advantage. See him get in there and fight Devin Haney. You know, I, I've already seen them spar. I seen the spar, and you know, that was a hell of a, so was, you just had to be there to see it. Broner recounts with admiration for Haney and his team, noting a positive relationship with Bill Haney. He openly acknowledges Haney's superior conditioning in the ongoing sparring, but he firmly asserts that in a real professional fight, without headgear and with standard gloves, the advantage would lean towards Davis. Broner's account not only unveils the sparring dynamics, but also emphasizes the mutual respect and camaraderie present among fighters, even amidst intense competition. But I personally seen the video. Huh. Thank you. Devin Haney is knocked out almost cold by Tank Davis. I seen it with my own eyes. Adrian Broner did hop in the ring. Ryan Garcia's recent revelation seems to have unraveled the long-standing mystery surrounding the Doghouse sparring session. In a recent MMA Hour podcast interview, Garcia claims to have seen the closely guarded video, confirming Haney's knockout by Davis. This not only aligns with Adrian Broner's previous account, but adds a significant twist to the fighter's narrative. Garcia's bombshell introduces psychological and strategic implications. Haney's durability is now under scrutiny, challenging the perception of his ring invincibility. Conversely, Davis's reputation for power and dominance is reinforced, potentially providing a mental edge in future matchups. Garcia's decision to make this revelation public raises questions about his motives in the competitive boxing landscape, where mental warfare is pivotal. As Garcia prepares to face Haney in a few months, his disclosure strategically aligns with Broner's narrative, positioning himself within the alliances and rivalries of the sport. The boxing world's response has been a mix of surprise, skepticism, and anticipation. Fans are now eagerly awaiting an official bout between Davis and Haney, hoping to determine whether their sparring session outcome was an anomaly or a true reflection of their abilities. The heightened interest sparked by Garcia's claims has transformed an already intriguing potential matchup into a must-see event. The question of who would emerge victorious in a professional bout between Tank and Devin remains open. Tank has established himself as a formidable force in the lightweight division, with his sparring session victory over Devin often cited as evidence of his prowess. However, the dynamics of the sport evolve, and much has changed since their initial encounter. Tank's continued development in the lightweight division, marked by knockout power and resilience, suggests confidence in his ability to dominate. Yet, questions arise about his willingness to face larger opponents or pursue titles in higher weight classes. In contrast, Devin Haney's journey post-sparring session with Tank has been marked by significant achievements. Becoming the undisputed lightweight champion and subsequently claiming a belt in junior welterweight highlights his skill, determination, and adaptability. While Tank's power remains a constant threat, Haney's tactical evolution and experience against diverse opponents showcase a different dimension. Considering their respective journeys and developments, the potential bout between Tank and Devin would hinge on more than their past sparring session bringing anticipation for a clash that will reveal their current capabilities and determination. Haney's adaptability and strategic prowess, coupled with experience in higher weight classes, could help counter Tank's offensive strength and exploit defensive gaps. His achievements in lightweight and junior welterweight showcase composure under pressure and success against top-tier opponents. In contrast, Tank's dominance in the lightweight division highlights power and skill but raises questions about performance against higher-weight opponents. The potential bout between Gervonta Tank Davis and Devin Haney promises an intriguing clash of styles and trajectories, with Tank claiming victory in their sparring session. However, developments since then reveal a nuanced picture. Haney's ascent to undisputed champion at lightweight and venture into junior welterweight demonstrate a fighter unafraid to challenge the best. Tank's focus on lightweight, while impressive, leaves uncertainties about facing higher-caliber opponents. 
the outcome of a professional bout would hinge on power, strategy, and adaptation, making it a must-see event for boxing enthusiasts worldwide. Now, who do you think would win? Share your predictions in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the latest updates. Until next time.